Let's get started, shall we? We are uh, heading toward the end, yes, of the semester. A final push uh, for this class and for all your classes, and then you head off for summer or summer school or work or whatever. Um, so, first off, congrats to uh, Denisa. I don't know if everybody is aware, but uh, Denisa won third place in the sound composition for for DMF. Did you not know? No. Oh. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, she actually submitted one of her assignments for this class. So I uh, congrats to her. And uh, those of you that did not submit, hey, your loss. So Denise's gain. So you got a check in the mail coming for for that third prize. Okay. So uh, talk to somebody from GHM to pick up your gift basket because they do have funky gift baskets that they give out at DML as well. Uh, Think about it next year, folks. If you didn't submit something this year, be sure to submit something next year, okay? Um, so I've had a, uh, one or two people email me and ask me about, I'm, I'm kind of catching up on things, and uh, t today is going to be kind of just checking in on things that we've been talking about and clarifying how we're moving forward, basically, from here, okay? So extra credit comments. So Project 4, you have the ability to comment on up to eight people's projects and get a uh, half point extra credit toward your final average, uh, which for some of you, you have uh, either assignments that you didn't do so hot on or you have absences that are dinging your final grade. So Wait, you need to do the thing for? Do what thing for? Because uh, I thought it was the, like, your absence that you could make like a uh, makeup for that class. Yes. So how many you can. Uh, I'd have to go back and check the syllabus, but it, you usually have you have a week though. There, there's a week oh, deadline. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So some of you that week has escaped you, so it's in the past basically. But you can use the extra credit to make up for those things by commenting on your peers' projects. Okay. Hmm. You can. You get half a credit, half a point toward your final average for every 50 word comment that you put on somebody's project. Okay. So this needs to be more than just good job, awesome, bro. Okay, it needs to be a full-fledged, fleshed out couple sentences. Okay, um, that's today is the last day to do that for our unit four projects. Okay, um, I'll consider I, 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 once I get the grade done for project four and I figure out where everybody's average is going into the home stretch here, I might consider adding a few extra credit. Uh, assignments for some of the drafts that are coming up for the final project because I'm going to have you submit drafts online. Okay, so stay tuned for other extra credit opportunities, especially those of you that have uh, either absences or grades or what have you that's weighing down your average and you want to make up some ground here. Okay, um, it's always good to comment on other people's work just to comment on other people's work. So uh, don't don't feel that just uh, if you're uh, caught up and you're happy with your grade, you don't have to do extra credit comments, but Today's the last day to do it for unit project four, okay? So be aware of that. If you're someone that is behind, you want to make up some ground. You can comment on up to eight different pieces, 50 words for, for each set of comments, and a half, a credit, half a point toward your final average for those comments, okay? Um, the other thing I need to point out to remind you about that dinged a couple of you, or the majority of you, actually, for your midterm grades, these audio culture responses. Remember this book, right? Have you seen it lately? Okay, hopefully it's still on your shelf somewhere in your dorm room or you're sharing it with somebody or you've been using the online because the majority of these readings are actually on uh, Google Books if you haven't figured that out yet. Okay, uh, so if you don't have a hard copy, uh, get online, start reading. Okay, you need to write up how many? Five responses, yes. So a response to a reading. So that means you need to do at least five readings in this book. Okay. Uh, can they all be, can I just do numbers one through five? No. No, right? Yeah, they're supposed to be spaced out and you'll, you'll notice in the table of contents that there are Roman numeral section headings. Uh, what I'm asking you to do is to pick from five different section headings, okay, for your responses. That's, that should give you a distribution across the book, okay? Yeah, Denise, a question or? Ah. And we can access some parts of the online book. Ah, okay. Is that what's messing some people up? Is the online? I, I, I think for the for the uh, midterm, I kind of 
disregarded this because I wanted to drive the point home again. So if you got some credit for things already at the midterm, those credits are in the book. I, honestly, I have not looked at the, the forum since the midterm, I'll be honest, okay? I gotta go, that's one of the re, one of the beauties of this asynchronous assignment is that you can guys can do it anytime and I can check in and as long as I get it done by the final, you, your grades are good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say you need to space them out. If it's something you already got credit for at the midterm, you're, you're safe. But if it's stuff you've done since the midterm, you should have been spacing them out because I did make a point of saying that at the midterm, okay? Um, that just means you get to get more knowledge out of this book by doing some more readings and writing some more responses, okay? Um, there's lots of good stuff in here. And I, one of the things I like about this book is it's, it's, a, it's what we call a reader, right? It's, it's a collection of essays uh, and some historical essays that are written by important artists in the time period. So you get a good broad spectrum of what's going on, uh, how, how technology has impacted just uh, music making over these last couple decades, okay? Don't neglect this, okay? You have to do how many of them again? Five, right? Each one has to be how long? Okay. 400 words. Four to 600 words, yes, okay? Which is about a page, but uh, in the internet uh, era of posting in discussion forums, pages are kind of irrelevant, yeah? So that's why I give you word counts, okay? Um, make sure it is a response, not a summary. I'll say that again. Make sure it is a response and not a summary, okay? If I want a summary, I will just go do the original reading. Make sure you are responding and engaging with what the person is saying, not just summarizing what they're saying. Yeah, it's like a mix of yeah I think a mix is fine because you should maybe summarize in a, pair, in a sentence or two before you respond to something, yes? Yeah. What now? Sure, yeah. These are not uh, formal, uh, you know, uh, I don't know term paperese kind of jargon basically. Speaking in the first person and speaking in the second person as well, I, I said one of the th suggestions I made is that, you know, treat it as if you're writing a letter to the author, trying to respond to them, okay? If that helps you get in the mode of responding versus summarizing, then please write in first and second person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think that's fine. Okay. Um, and, and, don't forget this, as you see people responding, because the, the discussion forum, if you haven't visited yet, okay, is broken up by the individual chapters in this book. Okay, so you can actually see, if you're gonna be doing a reading on 24 and you know somebody else has already written a response to 24, uh, feel free to engage with those other people as well in terms of, I agree with so-and-so, but I disagree with this point, that sort of stuff, okay? Uh, so it can be a, there, there are multiple par multiple potential parties in this conversation, okay, in the response process. But don't neglect this, okay? Uh, don't put it off. It's due at the final exam, okay? Uh, so our final exam is, you know, do you guys know when it is? It's actually Friday, May 3rd at 11 a.m., okay? So that's the deadline for this. These have to be done by that. Uh, because it's online, it's timestamped. So if it's timestamped after that, it's you didn't get it done. Okay, Alex. I came in like two minutes late. Yeah. There's the um, the 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 midterm. There was the five four hundred bird. Mm -hmm. This is just completing the rest. Just of completing them. the rest of them. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's not. Yeah. It's not five additional. Okay. It's completing the five that you have to do for the semester. Okay. This is an assignment that I threw to you to do kind of on your own pacing leisure, okay? Uh, it has to be done by the time the final exam starts, okay? Final project. The other big, yeah, question about the auto culture? No, oh, uh, yeah, no, sorry, JoJo sat her hand up, yeah. What time is the midterm? Midterm is 11 a.m. Yeah, it's a little goofy because once we go into final exam slots, they're not, they don't correlate exactly to course times, right? Okay. So, the other big chunk of your final grade, yes, so you've got the audio culture 20% still outstanding. The other thing that you have 20% still outstanding is your final project. So this is a big, uh, between the audio culture and the final project, there's a lot of your grades still out there that can help bring you up or bring you down, okay? So make sure you're paying attention to these things, okay? Um, so 20% of your final grade is this final project. What are we going to do for the final project, okay? 
Is that's the that's the question on everybody's mind. Yes. Okay. The 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 good news or bad news, depending on how you take this, is that what you do for the final project is largely up to you. Okay. Um, all I'm asking is that it draws on the skills, tools, and ideas that we've covered this semester. Okay, that's a pretty broad spectrum. Uh, but does that mean I'm going to go home to my Reason slash FL Studio slash whatever uh, setup and crank out crank out a track that has nothing to do with what we've been doing this semester? No, you need to use the skills, tools, and ideas that are covered this semester. Okay. Um, I don't mind you using some other tools, but I don't want you using some other tools exclusively. Does that make sense? Uh, I want you to tie it in with what you've been doing in this semester, OK? Um, two to three minutes in duration. I don't want these to be extremely long projects. You know, this is not, uh, you're not going to recompose uh, a long Stockhausen piece. Maybe we'll talk about Stockhausen today. I don't know. Uh, you know, the 13 minute electroacoustic composition, OK? Uh, I want a, two to, a good solid two to three minutes in duration, okay? Uh, we're going to be presenting them at the final exam. So the presentation format that we've been doing where people get up and, and then I call on people for comments. Uh, we do have two hours for the final exam, so we have a little bit more breathing room to, to present and take in these projects. Uh, but I do think that having things sequenced out and me kind of keeping track and making sure we're calling on people has uh, created a pretty efficient uh, critique process, yes? Uh, it makes sure that everybody gets involved and it makes sure that everybody's tuned in all the time. Yeah, Mark, you have a question? Is the yes. So there is not a pay yeah, so I, I think I've said this before, but just to make sure, yeah, the, the CS majors are bumping fists because they're used to having those big paper final exams, yes, or uh, the blue book exams, yes, at the end, or you don't use a blue book anymore? No, you just type it up. Okay, um, yeah, there is no additional final exam. The final project is the final exam, okay? All the more reason why you should be using the skills, tools, and ideas that we've covered this semester because it's supposed to be a proof of what you've actually learned in this class. Yes, fair enough, okay? Uh, so other tools that are out there, while I don't mind you peppering your project with them, they should not be the sole thing that you're using uh, in this project, okay? Um, and if you're not clear on where that line is, we can have that discussion individually, okay? So questions about that before I launch into some of the interim deadlines? Because this is not it. This is, it's not a free-for-all between now and two weeks from now. I do have some checkpoints that I want to have you build, build in, okay? You have an idea of the scope? Okay, let me present some of the checkpoints that I want to have, okay? I, I, I started doing these and I call them homework assignments. They're not really homework assignments, they're checkpoints to the final project. And But just like the homework assignments function in the previous units, if you miss a checkpoint, it will ding your final grade for the overall project. Okay, so be aware of that. I haven't worked on the final rubric yet, but be aware that if you miss a checkpoint, a, it's not the end of the world. It's not going to be the difference between an A and an F. But B, be prepared that missing a checkpoint might be the difference between an A plus and an A, or an A minus, or a B plus. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to side in, side in today? Um, hang on to that question. Okay. We'll come back to that. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, if, if you're, we'll come back to that. The question of Creative Commons and copyright and those types of things. Hang on to that question. Okay. Let's talk checkpoints first, okay? First checkpoint, okay? Notice the deadline. Monday, this coming Monday, by midnight. I want you to record a one-minute audio pitch. I don't want you to write it out. I want you to, you all know how to use a microphone, right? And to record your voice, because that was like one of the first things we did with SoundCloud, yes? Hey, hello, this is so-and-so, and this is welcome <clears throat> to my SoundCloud, right? I want you to use that same technique to record a one-minute pitch, quote unquote, of what you're going to do for your final project. Okay, so rather than waiting for coming to class on Tuesday, I want you to record these one-minute pitches, uh, post them to SoundCloud. Okay, uh, try as much as possible stick to the one-minute format. Okay, some of you that means it's going to mean editing your ideas down. Others of you that's going to mean you're going to have to expand your ideas. Make sure that you have something to say for one minute. Okay. But you need to uh, cover what your concept or inspiration is. I left it open-ended as far as which one it is you want to explore. 
and what skills from earlier projects are you going to be building on? Okay, make sure you cover those two points in your pitch. Okay, this needs to be posted to SoundCloud by Monday. Okay, midnight. So that's before class on Tuesday. Yes. Okay. The good news is that this is something you should be able to. Uh, maybe we'll have a little time even in class today or over the weekend get in here and record or record on your laptop and post it basically this is it's, it's, it's variable as far as how you get this done right okay there's a number of ways you can get this done but recording it as an audio pitch and posting it to SoundCloud I think is the is the important step here okay and make sure you cover these two points any questions about this stick to one minute please don't go over Okay, uh, this, I should be able to sit down and in a half hour listen to everybody's pitch and know what everybody's doing. Okay, as should everybody else. Everybody else should be able to sit down. I'm going to build a set just like I've done for other projects. Everybody else should be able to check in, listen 30 minutes and know what everybody's doing. Okay, um, so stick to the one minute mark. Okay, um, okay, checkpoint two. By next Wednesday, Okay, midnight. I want you to post a one plus minute, so over a minute, rough draft to SoundCloud. Okay, so one minute rough draft. So you've got a few more days to start working on this, but maybe you're someone that needs to work on these two things in tandem. Okay, um, your rough draft. Okay, this obviously, if it's a two to three minute project and you only have to have one minute posted, okay, it can be in progress. It can have a kind of it can just end. It doesn't have to have the you know the final cadence all worked out perfectly exactly. It can just kind of stop to give us an idea of what it is you're going to be working on. Okay, I want you to use this time though the written description. Okay, on SoundCloud, you, you, there is that description bubble that you can enter text into. Yes, uh, as you make your submission, uh, I want you to just briefly. Doesn't need to be a whole hundred words or whatever. It, I mean, just a few sentences to cover how is the how are things evolved since you made the pitch on Monday and what else do you have planned to finish up the project okay make sense so this is your other check this is your second checkpoint for Wednesday at midnight okay then checkpoint three okay by next the following Tuesday so this is the third this is the final class meeting okay the final class meeting uh, not during class, but by the end of the day, midnight. So some of you, that means you're going to finish this up during class. Some of you, that means you're going to be finishing it after class, coming back. Some of it means you're going to finish it up over the weekend before you even get to class, okay? But by ne that Tuesday, the 30th, our final class meeting at midnight, okay, I want you to post a two to three minute fine draft, okay? What do I mean by fine draft? Is this or a fine cut might be some terminology that's, uh, I've adapted from uh, video uh, terminologies. I've, I've pretty much your final project without extra tweaks to make it better. Yeah, the overall structure should be there, okay, but it shouldn't be so concrete. The concrete shouldn't have dried so much that we can't make some corrections, okay. So if I say something like, you know, in the minute, you know, one minute thirty seconds, maybe put in a filter sweep here. Uh, I don't want you to be so rigid that, oh, well, I really think it's done, you know. Be open to critiques, especially, this is, uh, I think, where we're going to, uh, I'll open it up for comments, not just by myself, but comments by your classmates as well, for ideas and how you can make tweaks and adjust the final draft. But the overall structure should be there, okay. Maybe that means that there's only one synth in the final minute, but you want to expand it to three or four synths, but the whole melodic idea and the contour of the piece is there. But it should be an overall structurally there piece by this point, okay? But you should be open to making tweaks before the final draft. That's what fine draft means. That's the difference between a fine draft and a rough draft, okay? Everybody clear on that? For years, I was always frustrated because I would say rough draft to students and I'd get 30 seconds, not a complete draft. And I, I, I was introduced by a colleague to this, this terminology of, fine draft versus rough draft and I really like it okay so please understand what a fine draft is and what it needs to be okay is there any, are there any points of clarification I need to make on that okay uh, again use your written description 
to talk about where you're happy with the piece. Maybe even use the comments at this point because if you're happy with one minute, 30 seconds and you wouldn't change a thing and don't you dare tell me to change something here, put a comment. You can comment on your own piece. You know, we've talked about how those comments can be attached to certain moments in the piece. So feel free to do that as well. Uh, where are you happy with the piece? Where do you think it can still improve? Uh, and because those are time-specific comments, maybe it makes more sense to, rather than using the overall written description, to actually attach those to certain moments in the song. Feel free to do that, okay? But I want you to not just upload the piece, I want you to have a little bit of text that you're giving us, that tells us about the piece as well, okay? And hits on these two points, okay? That's by Tuesday the 30th at midnight. So that's the third checkpoint, okay? The final checkpoint the final hand in of the final draft for the final project okay note the time on this it is not at the final exam time it is the night before at midnight okay this is more than anything to protect you because I cannot guarantee the lab will be open before our final exam on Friday morning okay uh, I can probably guarantee that there will be some open hours on Thursday night to finish things up for all sorts of projects but Keep in mind, you are not the only class that uses this room, yes? And you are not the only class that's trying to do a final project. So uh, the, you know, get in the lab early and often, but the cutoff point for submitting the final project to SoundCloud is Thursday, May 2nd at midnight, OK? Th at this point, it should be done. You should incorporate any tweaks, that, uh, suggestions that you got from the fine cut, OK, into the final draft. Um, and I want you to use your written description to kind of get yourself prepared for your presentation. Two, two additional things that I want you to cover in your presentation, okay? I know we've, been, we've gotten in this habit of talking about what you think you did well, what you think you would do better if you had more time. You should have more time to work on this because you've got two full weeks to work on this final project and you've got multiple hand-in stages, yes? Multiple checkpoints. Um, but... Two additional points that I want you to cover in your written description on SoundCloud as well as in your oral presentation of the project. How does this piece reflect your, the course content and how does this piece reflect your artistic sense? Okay, Both of those things should be informing the final product, yes? Who you are as an artist and also what you learned in this class, okay? So be prepared for those things and be prepared to incorporate them into your oral presentation, but also make some notes for yourself in the written description. Make sense? Okay. Any questions about the final project? Are we clear on the checkpoints? This is also being recorded, so if you're unclear about the checkpoints, maybe I'll, like, the day of, I'll tweet out. Uh, links to the specific time on the YouTube video where you can get what to do, basically, what I said today, okay, so that we don't deviate from that. I'll copy this stuff into Blackboard as text as well, but um, the text sometimes doesn't tell the whole story, right, because I, I elaborate on things and I react to questions in class, yes. Okay, Alicia, you were going to ask me to paste the text? Yeah, paste the text, yeah. Okay. Any questions about the final project? No. If you think of questions, email me, uh, particularly as you approach checkpoints, OK? Make sure that you've got the checkpoints in your to-do calendar or whatever it is that you've used to kind of keep yourself organized, OK? Uh, especially because some of them come up. I mean, Well, one of them comes up before we will meet again, right? Yes? Monday at midnight is what, what's due Monday at midnight? What do you want to do with the project? Yeah, your audio pitch, OK? Yeah. I could do that. I, I'm trying to think how I would organ. I mean, yeah, I'm going to create another folder for like final project because I know I have like unit one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, I'll just list. I'll. I don't know that it makes sense to have dates for class as much as it is just one folder for the whole final project yeah, and then have. And like the check yeah, yeah. Checkpoints. Yeah. Okay. We'll do. Okay, if there are no other questions at this point, okay, I would like to take a minute to consider what have we learned in this class, yes, okay, because this will help you reflect on what you want to do for, the, the point of this is to help you kind of take stock of what you've learned uh, and uh, prepare and to move forward in the final project. So, I've got a blank slate. 
you came into this class registering for digital audio fundamentals. What have you learned in this class? Uh, I was going to say something that I was going to do for my project too. Is I was thinking about kind of doing something similar to I think our unit two mm -hmm. projects, which is when we had that blank video from your travels in Norway. Oh, ah, okay. And then uh, thinking about kinds of Foley art sounds you could put in there or the other type of things where like the cartoons, how they just used music. Okay. And then <clears throat> also just the mixing with that. <coughs> oh, let's see if I can and make this bigger. Pro, you know, using the different features of Pro Tools. Mixing being the main. Wow. Features. Let me see if I can get this. Okay, video fully. That's something we covered. What else have we covered in here? Yeah. Um, like cutting music, like let's say a piece mm -hmm. of the ideas. We had sound and we would cut it, edit it, put, put it together evenly, um, make it sound smooth. So editing audio. Okay. Yeah. Synths from the actual sound waves? Okay. You mean like just using synthesizers or, or using like basic waveforms, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, synthesis, getting, getting introduced to synthesis, yes. Sampling. Sampling, yes, okay. What else? Ah, okay. So you're talking about, uh, we've talked about experimental music so this is more of a uh, let's take a different color here yeah this is more it has to do with like genres and ideas and that sort of stuff experimental music we talked about minimal music well, I'll just put minimalism okay kind of like mixing. mixing yeah uh, mixing and automation okay Okay. Yeah. I don't have a name for it, but um, the difference between the background music and music that's in the ah, okay, yeah. Uh, and we talked about that kind of. I mean, relates to video of Foley, right? Diegetic. Yeah. Diegesis. Okay. Maybe we can even do this. Well, let's see. Can I connect these somehow? No, probably not. But I'll put it in the neighborhood over here. Okay. Mixing. Okay. Live recording. Yeah, recording. Recording. Just recording. Okay. Audio. MIDI, yeah. MIDI is a bit an important thing, right? Okay. And not just MIDI, but also MIDI as a as a compositional tool, right? Okay. Um, okay. We can kind of connect. I'm gonna kind of start to group some of these things, right? MIDI and synthesis kind of go hand in hand, as does sampling, yes? Yeah. These are kind of techniques down here. Okay. We also covered this stuff, so maybe even uh, mixing and automation is kind of, Everything. Uh, yeah, it's kind of in the middle, yeah. But maybe we'll even do this. Just say digital audio as a big topic. And we'll put editing and recording up here. Ah. Okay.
What else have you learned about? Yeah, okay. History and composers, okay. That really kind of gets into this area, I guess. Okay. It's getting kind of crowded here, but composers, technology. Yeah, I mean, the technology is kind of what we're talking about overall. But you're talking about like specific technical I mean, yeah, I innovations. Technology. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. So just talking about um, the characteristics of sound. Yeah, characteristics of sound. So just <clears throat> let's just say sound in general. And I really think that maybe these are are kind of like core topics, maybe. Ooh, that's a ugly color. So yeah, we'll go green. We'll go green with those. How about that? Is that better? Okay. Um, and maybe fully and diegetic should be, uh, well, diegetic is the adjective. I'm going to change it diegesis, okay. And I'm maybe going to move fully out here. And make video kind of a core topic that we cover. I was thinking about that when I'm watching cartoons now. Hmm. You see a cartoon. Cartoon Network, some of them do like the old school things like someone was playing, uh, what was it, Space Jam mm. in the movie, and I was just like, man, all the different sound effects where people slip and do all Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all just in orchestra. Mm -hmm. What do you think of how hard like, the writing is for that? Yeah. Um, but there were, we were talking about, s we started introducing sound as an area that we talked about, and there was a few things that you guys were mentioning, or i make sure I don't lose those. Ah, uh, okay. Well, tonal, uh, noise versus sound. Noise as a category, music, sound, yeah, that, 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 that kind of uh, trinity of ideas and how they relate to one another, right? I don't know, are we satisfied with mixing being here in the middle? It's really because it kind of links these two, yeah. You can do that in everything. Send this to the back. There we go. Okay. Anything else? I mean, this is really our kind of four. See, doesn't it strictly correlate to our four unit projects because our we spent the last two down here working with MIDI and synthesis and sampling, right? Um, but we did cover some video, right, and the kind of role of diegesis and foley, um, digital audio. We talked about editing and recording digital audio, and we also kind of just talked about general uh, aesthetics and a building up a vocabulary about how to talk about sound. Okay. Um, and if, if you got nothing else out of the class, that hopefully is something that you uh, can use in other contexts, being able to talk about sound and describe sound in different ways. Um, but yeah, we've covered quite a bit of ground, yes? Okay. Um, I, I do this for two reasons. One, to just kind of take stock of the class, what you guys have learned, uh, but also to kind of set the framework because uh, part of the final project is to be able to relate what you're doing back to things that you've learned from previous projects. So brainstorming categories and terms and ideas uh, as a class can help you kind of set the framework of like, okay, how does my final project fit in with this map of what we've covered, right? Alex? Uh, I was going to add, like, remember in the beginning, I remember in the beginning of the class we were like going over the difference between listening to sound and what you believe it might like actually be and then what it, what it actually is, you know, and the way the ear works. Sort of like. Yeah, just the role of hearing, right? Yeah. Hearing and listening, which really could be a joint. Oh, my bubble got too big or too small. There we go. Okay. 
does it help to see the semester and kind of, I mean, I, I know it, it's felt disconnected at times. It's felt disconnected to me at times, but uh, I'm encouraged that it took us probably as a class 10 minutes to come up with this, uh, which is a pretty accurate representation, representation of what we've covered this semester. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's good to see this. And it's good to kind of maybe consult this as you're thinking about uh, your final project and which area you want to explore. Um, or areas you want to explore because I mean obviously you can't create sound for video without touching on one of these categories or both of these categories right I mean one of the beauty one of the things that's the beauty of uh, logic uh, is that you can use MIDI and digital audio side by side you can do the same thing in Pro Tools although there's not as many synthesizers in Pro Tools out of the box okay um, but don't don't feel like I have to do a MIDI project or I have to do an audio project. You can actually combine these things. Okay, and I hope that's obvious to you. Um, I'm also encouraged that in this brainstorming, you guys didn't mention. Okay, well we learned how to bounce tracks in Logic or uh, you know that sort of stuff. So, yeah, we got away from the tools. Yes. Okay, that's the other thing I think important thing about this map we just created. There's no tools up here. Yes, there there are concepts that are outside of the tools. Yes, MIDI is implemented in multiple tools. Digital audio is mul implemented in multiple tools. Video is in multiple tools. Sound is in everything we do. Yes. Okay. Um, cool. So uh, this will be on the the video as well. Uh, I'll, I'll maybe even export this as a PNG for uh, and post this to Blackboard for people to kind of consult as far as talking about their projects and what they're kind of hitting on and uh, specializing in. Okay. Uh, what do you guys want to do with the rest of the class? You guys, is, is it useful for you guys to work, or is it useful for you to hear some examples and get inspired by stuff? I'll put it to a vote. Inspiration. I'm hearing some. So, okay, the inspiration people are being more vocal. That doesn't necessarily mean there's more of them. I've learned. Inspiration. Anybody want to? Uh, should I maybe? Because we're at we're at ten thirty eight. Okay, so we don't have, uh, we've got, we got plenty of time. If I maybe give you 10, 15 minutes of things to listen to, and uh, then we, the bulk of the time is yours if you want to jet, jet, if you want to work on your pitch, you can work on your pitch. If you have more individual questions, we can do that. Is that useful? That's a structure for class. Maybe try to, I'll try to end by 11. Matt? Sure, yeah. Uh, it's going to be kind of, if I'm playing tracks, though, it's going to be hard for you to kind of record your audio pitch, right? Yeah. That's my. That's the only thing, okay? So, cool. I, I've got some things I can play for you guys. Uh, I'm going to turn off the recording, though, because I might want to play some copyrighted material, and I don't want to put that up on YouTube. So, bye to my YouTube viewers at home, okay? I'll maybe submit a track list or whatever um, for people that miss this, but that'll be the end of my recording.